Kmart fairies. Woohoo! Hi, I'm gonna do a review on masks. Dino masks. Yahoo! Kmart fairies. Yeah, bro! <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. Um, as cute as it can be, I'm gonna show some other Kmart stuff. But what you can do with it anyway, um, well, actually, Target, mainly Target. Um, this is the Kmart variety that we get in Australia. It's a thin, thin plastic type. This is their Velociraptor. I used the um, T Rex type to make red. So I'll show you that in a sec. Um, everything else I have to get from um, Target. So this is the Velociraptor types that we all know. This is the old series with just. The elastic strap and the weird silicon like one there this is the new series so you got the strap under the chin but then you've got one that wraps around the head and then goes over the top of the head so I've got three of those and that will eventually become a triple headed so easy to hold three at once isn't it The T-Rex type, old model. Yeah, no thanks, no, that's awful. Pyeh. The Rinzasaur. This is cool, because it's got actually, well it's lovely feather-like textures, and this lovely beak shape to work with. They've actually spent a bit of nice time then it spent a bit of time, spent a bit of time actually um, really working these up a lot better. I'll still see what I can do to make them fit nicer and change the shape a little bit more because it pushes into my cheekbones a lot. Yeah, I don't know what how's this supposed to work with just a little, it really doesn't do much, it doesn't fasten. Seems a bit uh, silly. Uh, it's not so bad, but anyway, still feels too much on my cheeks. Oh, that feels weird. More because let's pull out Gecko. Gecko. I'll show you how that one's actually done. So I made the straps exactly how they are now, but I've also filled in here. I've used a lot of Eva foams and stuff. So I hope they're a bit easier than mine to put on. I haven't tried one yet of the new model. And you see here, hidden in behind is where the Velcro is. And a little tab each side of the temple, hidden in behind the facial scales. This is the dinosaur, uh, T-Rex type, the T-Rex type, but you know, you can see I've done a lot of work to it and it doesn't have the moving jaw anymore. I took the moving jaw away. Digs in here. And I was thinking of making this one for sale. I had this on my flatmate last, so it's not fitting the way it used to. The T-Rex type, that's from Kmart, I think, or is it Big W in Australia? So it was originally this flimsy type of plastic. So when you work it up with the gesso and paint and stuff and other finishes, it ends up looking pretty tough. And it is 
a lot tougher. You can actually hear it's all over. When originally, it was like that. <laughs> Look at the finishes inside it. I'll settle for mine even though it needs a bit of work. I always say that, I don't really mean it. <laughs> Life is a work in progress and all.